In part one of this video, we took a look at solving mixture problems where we did not know the starting amount. We found out with two variables, we could get an equation from the first and last column. The amount times the price is going to equal the final amount of money invested in that product. Here we're mixing coffee together. One blend normally sells for $8.90 per pound. Whoops, let's try that again. One blend normally sells for $8.90 per pound. We don't know the amount, but we do know the price on this blend is $8.90. The second blend that we're using sells for $11.30 per pound. We're told the distributor wishes to create a final solution that is 70 pounds that can sell for $11.16 per pound. The amount at the end is 70 pounds and the price is $11.16. We don't know the amounts of the first two solutions to use, so let's just call them x and y. We can now calculate the final amounts by multiplying the amount times the price, giving us 8.9x, 11.3y, and when we multiply 70 times 11.16, we end up with 781.2. Now we can pull our equations we will use to solve. The last column, 8.9x plus 11.3y equals 781.2. With two variables, we need a second equation, which we can pull from the first column, x plus y equals 70. We can now use the addition method to solve this problem. We will need to multiply the second equation by something. To eliminate the x's, let's multiply by negative 8.9. The first equation is now unchanged. 8.9x plus 11.3y equals 781.2. Distributing through the second equation gives us negative 8.9x, negative 8.9y, and 70 times negative 8.9 is negative 623. When we add those equations together, the x's will eliminate, and we're left with 2.4y equals 158.2. We can quickly solve this equation for y by dividing by the 2.4 to find out that y is equal to about 65.92. We still need to find x, which we can quickly solve by plugging in to that second equation. x plus y, or x plus 65.92, equals 70. To get the x alone, we'll subtract 65.92 from both sides. And we find out x is equal to 4.08. Clearly labeling our answers, x is the amount that was selling for 8.90 per pound. That means we need 4.08 pounds that will sell at 8.90 per pound. Y, the 65.92 pounds, is what sells for 11.30 per pound. When we mix these two together, we'll end up with 70 pounds that will sell for $11.16. And that completes our problem.